Welcome to this tutorial on Sketchbook X. Sketchbook X is a really cool um, artistry app that allows you to draw and use digital tools to customize pictures and whatnot. We're going to be kind of using it as a Photoshop to um, Photoshop our four influential people in the world's history over top of Mount Rushmore so we can make our own our own individual Mount Rushmore. So I'll quickly hold down Sketchbook X. You see the app that I'm moving around. That's the icon for it. Of course, you can always just swipe down and start typing in Sketch. Sketchbook X will pop up. So I'll take you back to my home and I'll show you kind of how mine looks. So this is our end product that we want to use. Obviously, I hope yours looks a little bit nicer than mine. I didn't um, do as nice of a job, especially around Steve Jobs' head. Uh, making it look nice and even, but you can see in the left-hand corner I chose for my four influential people Bill Gates, Tom, Thomas Edison, Sir Isaac Newton, and of course my favorite Steve Jobs. So that's our um, eventual goal for using this app and then we're going to export this into ThingLink where we can add text and pictures and video over top of these, um, over this picture so we can explain and justify our selections. So if I go back in the lower left hand corner you'll see a plus button. This will start a new document. In the upper right hand corner you'll see two squares that are hovering over top of one another. If you click on that and then you'll see a flower with a plus button. We want to click on the flower with the plus button and this will allow us to import pictures either that we take or from the photo library. So I'll select photo library. I've already gone ahead and saved my um, four influential people as well as my Mount Rushmore. So right now when I import it, the picture comes in upside down, so I need to go to the upper right hand corner where you see three lines, and I need to click transform. I need to transform this picture, and I need to rotate it, and then I need to make it fit the whole screen. I can press done, and then when I'm done with this step, I always like to click in the upper left hand corner where you see the four squares. See, I just selected it, and I do want to save. And I take it back and I want to make sure that the picture that I just imported there and I transform fills the entire page and there's no white around it. So as you can see, there is no white. So I'll double click and I'll go back to it. Now I want to add another layer on top of this picture. I want to put another picture on top of this. So once again, I'm going to click the flower with the plus button in the bottom. Oh, I lied. In the upper right hand corner where you see the two squares, the layers is what I want to click on. I apologize for that. Once I click on those layers, again in the upper right hand corner, you see the two squares on top of one another. Now I can add the, uh, the plus button for another layer and then I can click on the flower with the plus button to actually add a picture. So I'm going to add from the photo library and I will pick Steve Jobs as my first photo that I want to Photoshop over top of Mount Rushmore. So again, it's crooked, so I click on the three dots, transform, and I rotate it. I'm going to move it over top of Abraham Lincoln's face. So what I like to do is I like to make it next to it so it's about the same size. And then I'm going to drag it over the best that I can over top of Abraham Lincoln's face. So now I can press done. I need to start worrying about how do I erase his face. So I'll click on the drawing tool at the top. You can see I can select different tools. So you, right now the eraser is highlighted and I can change the radius. So I'll make it a little bit wider. And you can see when I erase it, the background starts to appear. So I'm just going to go around with the big eraser to get as much of it gone as possible. It will save me time. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to make my radius a little bit smaller. And I'm going to go a little bit closer. I'm doing this with my finger. If you have a stylus, it might be a little bit easier. So I'm just going to keep going. For time's sake, I'm going to kind of do it rough today so you're not just sitting there watching me. But you can see the point. I would even go a little bit smaller as I get closer to his ears. So that way, my detail is a lot better. Okay? Alright, so now I'm going to go back to my layers. 
and I am going to add, so the plus button, an additional layer. I'm going to add a picture. Okay, so once again, I have to transform this picture. So click on it, the three dots, transform. I'm going to rotate Bill, make him a little bit larger. I'm going to put him where Mr. Washington is. And then now I can start the process of erasing Bill Gates. And you can see now I'm not erasing over top, I'm not erasing Steve Jobs because this is a, another layer. I have three layers right now. Eventually you will not be able to add additional layers, so you're going to have to merge them. And to do that, you can press the arrow in the lower right hand corner that you can see I, I just tapped right there. And I have selected Bill Gates layer, and that's going to merge down below with Steve Jobs. Or for right now, I'll click on Steve Jobs and I'll merge it with the Mount Rushmore. Please pay attention though when you go to finalize your picture. If you look, I still have a lot on Steve Jobs. Um, face that I didn't even erase. So if you go back to this view, you'll always be able to see where you are at exactly. And you're done if you just click on the three or the four squares, I should say. You make sure you want to press save a copy. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to stop by and see me. You can email me at gcodney at fairview.k12.oh.us or you can go to the master himself, Mr. Fleischer. He was the one that taught me this. So you can go to Mr. Fleischer as well or email him and he would be more than happy to help you as well. Good luck and I hope you guys enjoy using Sketchbook X.